Welcome to Leo for Leos. This is a channel featuring intuitive tarot readings for the astrological sign of Leos. Sun, moon, and rising. I'm a Leo as well, so that's why the channel is called Leo for Leos. Cross watchers and fellow readers are welcome. However, I do want to give you a heads up that I read the cards as I see them and not always the way it's traditionally done. Now let's get started. All right, let's get started. I'll be using the Smith Weight Tarot Deck, the Centennial Edition, and this will be for March the 15th to the 31st. The 15th to the 31st. And I really want to get really fantastic solutions for Leos to help us out um, until the end of the month to really make uh, April awesome. Let's make April awesome by uh, finishing out March in an epic way. So any solutions, strategies, thoughts that can help Leo's during our journey for the rest of March. Cards are quite quiet. Let me do. Let me just do one more. I have a feeling I should do one more. Flippity flip. Best outcome and best results for my Leo people, for and for myself too. Add me in there. <laughs> for us Leos, we need all the help we can get. Got and we got that. This and this. Okay, we got two repeating cards from March helping us to uh, really see that uh, there's a quite a bit of correlation. And we got this card and we had this card. The two new cards here for the month of uh, March is the Hangman. And the Hangman is really um, here to, to talk about like deliberating on things and kind of thinking on the things. We did have an assessment card last time that was also assessing what we had and like judging uh, what our next strategies were going to be based on that and this one is just like taking maybe a few days to mull over what uh, what you're doing your strategy and also like waiting for sort of that magical idea to happen right like there's there's something you know something that has you uh, feeling a little uncomfortable and you're like just trying to figure it out and it, it may be like a day or two a weekend or something where you're just not going to do anything at all except for um, try to relax and calm down uh, think about things clearly and this is where you get sort of like your best ideas epiphanies recharge a little get that blood flowing to the brain <laughs> and uh, uh, you know it, again it, it, you won't you'll be kind of pushed into doing it because things aren't exactly feeling right they may be actually okay but um, Leo's intuition is probably going to be um, 
saying otherwise because our intuition is pretty good. There's something about this feels risky and uh, that risk is um, kind of what's got you wanting to really take, take a deeper look at everything. So, yeah, there is, there is a risk involved for sure. But you're really happy about it. There's something very uplifting about this, like this opportunity or chance or this, this thing. This is going to get you um, in the mix with a lot of other people who are doing the very same thing. Now, there is competition, but there's also um, camaraderie. There's camaraderie here. There's, it's not a competition that's, uh, that's mean-spirited or, or anything. It, this is a, a good camaraderie. You guys are actually trying to help each other. And then I have this creative card here, which is also speaking of how this, all of this is inspiring creativity and artistry and really giving you a sense of um, uh, ownership. It's making you stand out. Right, because this is you, you're standing out from the crowd of all of these other people being creative. Now, I didn't do this, I, mean, I forgot to do this. Excuse me, I'm sneezing because my allergies are acting up. Um, hangman here, um, there's a deliberation, there is sort of an, an epiphany, and sort of we talked about this reboot before and there is a reboot uh knight of wands expanding uh this effort to move out and expand and then getting things done choosing happiness while you're doing it doing things as as, as well as you possibly can um so uh, no doubt about it, this is definitely, um, you know, referring to career and uh, also when faced, this is also a direction, right? So when faced with uh, being in a room with a lot of other creative people who are doing the same thing as you, don't exactly feel like this is, you know, we need to compete against each other uh, right at that moment. No, no, no. It, there is a competition going on, but at this time, it, there should be the linking of the minds, communication. You can get ideas. They can, you know, share ideas and, you know, not your most precious ideas, of course, but share some ideas and also, um, uh you know, glean what you can from these other people. Uh, little tips here and there. So you can you can get better at what you do. Um, we had this card show up before. This is um, a person who has been through a lot and is now still willing to fight for what they believe in and what they are going for. The war is not over, and Leos are not out of the fight. Um, as far as, like, the spirit is concerned, they're ready for the next phase. And um, they've been through, like I said, they've been through a lot. We've got Queen of Swords, meaning um, it's going to get done. <laughs> um, people may be cut out. Time may be cut um, you know, you, what you spend your time on will be cut into its proper spaces and places. Um, there will be um, a firm hand uh, given to the way you continue on your schedule. Um, this really feels like your schedule is, is tightening up and you're you're actually like going to be sticking to it. You're, you're actually going to adhere to it. Um, with a lot more discipline, which is uh, is very good. 
uh, creativity uh, combined with hard work and and um, and uh, we already had uh, this uh, energy here of, of tenacity uh, we, we already had uh, this creativity and so creativity tenacity all these things along with a rigid schedule great no nope. this is like you're not taking any BS either so people who are like yeah you know what you can you know I got this over here you're not being distracted by that stuff at all um, you know Queen of Swords knows what she wants and will get it um, so we talked about judgment the reboot um, coming to a conclusion of something and this could be like getting rid of something it's not necessarily getting rid of something but coming to a conclusion and 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 maybe you know this new thing means the death of another thing okay we've got the world stepping into something new wow just i mean could you not be more um coordinated there yes yeah, stepping into something new um like a new door opening up for leos and leos walking through so if there's a new door coming for you do make you know make you know look at that door make sure it's the right door and and see about walking through something that leos have been manifesting um and you are still manifesting so continue your manifestation rituals of prayer and um and um concentration uh whatever whatever it is that you do to help yourself to manifest um things in the real world okay and you know what they are if it's like self-talk or if it's uh, writing uh, a note you know i will succeed a hundred times you know Ooh, this this one came out like like yellow cards okay yellow cards here the chariot ready to go ready to go that showed up for March yeah ready to go that showed up in the March reading ready to go I mean how many like let's go manifest <laughs> opening a new opening door you know a reboot it, it is it is a fast-paced kind of energy that's ready it is it is ready for action now we've we've got the action card here the knight of the knight of wands is ready to go so the pre pre preparation you're ready and now it's time to move when it's time to move leo um i really would love to know what you're moving on that is um really going to be awesome um let's see what we've got here we've got king of pentacles <laughs> this is tied to a lot of money uh, the movements you make are going to be um, surrounded by money so this this is these are big moves these are big moves um wow incredible one else for Leo oh my god <laughs> Sun the Sun card it's it's you're feeling really good about this too feeling really good about this this is like a great energy you're ready to go out there you're ready to take what's yours um, you know you're not stealing it or anything it's your this is yours uh, you know and you're you're going to be um, you know you, you've got to see the opportunity too right because the it this none of this happens if the hangman doesn't happen that means a deliberation concentration and also um, looking inward for the answer this time looking inward for the answer the answer it's like it's almost as if the answer is like right in front of you and for most people they won't see the answer but it's up to 
uh, Leos to take time to deliberate and uh, and find the answer. It's it's right it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. It's right there. Um, let's go move on to the Queen of Wands, which we had for March as well. It's it's definitely talking about uh, working hard, uh, getting the job done. Uh, the Queen of Wands is a doer, and she does things in a happy way. We have um, Leo spirit all around us, so we're we're doing things in a Leo spirity way. Another repeat from last month, uh, for for the last reading, uh, for March, was um, the uh, the Three of Wands. Lots of wand cards. Things are getting done. Uh, there's progress. Um, there's um, an assessment, looking at everything, looking at, at your at your numbers, looking at your, your wallet, looking at how much you're spending, looking at um, uh, how things are done, looking at, uh, uh, at every single procedure that you um, take part in and seeing like where it is. All right, and this is walking away from something maybe that you spent on, that you spent a lot of time on something, but it's not really producing. It's not giving you the joy that you want want it from it, and maybe it's just putting it in a box and and working on it next year. Maybe it's it's working on it in three years. But putting something aside. So you can walk off and do something. Now, there's always that concern. That's why the sky is dark and there's the moon for mystery. Um, but the moon is being eclipsed by the sun. And so there are, are um, you know, there's a, a, a hopeful outcome in, in the whole mix, right? The sun is clarity. The sun is... Uh, as happy. Look at this. Looking forward to the future. Um, so th what what you're embarking on in 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 March or later March, moving into April is like giving you so much energy, so much um, hope for the future. You're assessing what you have and you're planning. Like this, it couldn't be even more. Uh, obvious walking into something new, opening up a new door, uh, using your creativity uh, to come up with great ideas, and um, you know manifesting your uh, what's next to come in your life. Uh, okay, that's card on the tip. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Look at her. The High Priestess for intuition. It's. Basically, um, uh, it basically going to take the intuition for you to, for from beginning to end. If you look at the first card, where uh, it's the hangman trying to deliberate these ideas or these possibilities, and then you have the the high priestess who is who is like, okay, now it's time for us to make a decision based on our guts, but we've done the work. Right, we've done the work of assessing. We've or we've we've done the calculations, right? And so, based on our calculations, uh, we may have to make this decision, right? We may have to make this decision moving forward. It's so beautifully um, laid out here for Leos um, that it just, you know. It, it, it never ceases to amaze me how these cards come together and tell a story. Um, and I, I'm praying that Leos get the most wonderful um, uh, March uh, and, and April. So uh, blessings to you all. Thank you for coming. Uh, and I want to say that um, if you guys want more daily um readings but you don't have time to search the internet for uh, all of the readings ever <laughs> um, what i would suggest is that you hit my blog the link is in the description and you will be able to see uh, readings from just about every reader on uh, youtube in my blog 
and I hope you have a, and, and it's really all Leo, so you don't have to do the research to find Leo. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's all for Leos, and I will um, see you in my next video, which will be uh, for April. All right, take care and have a great March.